So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prime our eyelids and our the bottom of our waterline so our eyeshadow can stay longer and I'm going to grab a shimmery pink and I'm gonna apply this all over my eyelid. Then getting a blending brush I'm going to grab a vibrant purple and I'm gonna work this into my crease. So I'm gonna want a clean cut finish so I'm just gonna grab this and use it to create my cleanness and now I'm going to grab Foxy from the Naked Palette which is just a matte eyeshadow for my brow bone and then I'm going to grab a shimmery white color and I'm also going to put this on my brow bone so it could be a little bit more sparkly and that same color I'm going to use into my tear duct. I'm going to grab that pink and put it on the bottom of my waterline and I'm also going to do the same thing with the purple. So now I'm just going to prep my eyelashes for my fake eyelashes. Now I'm just going to create a very thin line so my eyelashes can blend in with my fake eyelashes and tight line and waterline. These are the eyelashes I'm using. They're nice and spiky and I got these in Donor Read or Rite Aid, one of the two. So this is kind of hard to explain but I use a gem jumbo eye pencil from NYX in Milk and this is, this is the only thing I did and I just blended it with my fingers. It's very easy, very easy to blend as you guys can see. You're also going to want to cover your lips, mute them all out, and make sure everything is nice and blended. Go back in if you're missing a little bit of white, and boom, that should be how you start looking. Then just use a translucent powder or a white eyeshadow just to mattify your face. Now, I wanted to do my nose a little bit different, so I like wanted the ends of it to be like real pointy, and I just used this eyeliner from L'Oreal guys can see but you guys can do whatever nose you want because the sugar skull you created the way you want then I use this other eyeliner from L'Oreal which the brush is like literally a paint brush it like draws so disgusting but it works to like fill in all this stuff real fast that's how my nose looked then you're gonna want to draw lines going from your draw all the way up to like the end of your lip Just like this. Now you're gonna want to do this with a very light hand. I actually did it with a heavy hand so it didn't come out so good. But you're just gonna want to grab a black eyeshadow and create a little bit of shadow there. Then here you're just gonna design it however you want. You're gonna want to draw swirlies wherever you want. This is your face, your sugar skull, so you can do whatever you want. But whatever you do on one side, you do it on the other side. Now, I suggest you doing the swirls with gel eyeliner because it was a little bit more easier than liquid eyeliner. Then I did a little heart on my, not chin, but like upper chin, mid chin, I guess you guys can say. I don't know. I just did a little hard. Then I started doing some lines for my little spider web that is going to go on my chin. I didn't show it here, but it's just like doing like little M's, I guess you could say. I don't know, like that. This is how I used to do my M's, but this is a close up of how it's supposed to be looking. Then I'm going to want to draw little dots on the end of those swirlies that I did. Then I decided to put some swirlies on top too. And again, some dots on the ends of those. Then I just did like a line like where my bags, I guess you guys could call, are at. Just like that, just to separate it. Then the color I use for my eyelid, I am using it to fill in my heart. Using the same exact pink, we're going to do four little circles under the lines we just drew, like this. And under those four little circles, we're going to do little ones 
using our black eyeliner. Ba bam, it's coming out okay. Then we're going to use a pink lipstick. Well, I use this lip liner from BH Cosmetics. I will link it down below. And then I use this lip gloss, which I also forgot the name, and I'll link that down below from NYX, just to create this little ombre effect, as you guys can see or not. And this is the look. I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Bye.